now this is a new idea in this module that we will talk about what do we mean by social markets gender development that is focus of our course language and gender gender development is set of processes and uh, i think by this time you are familiar with those processes because we have talked about them many times construction it happens through socialization socialization is a way of learning indirectly what is right or what is wrong or what is appropriate and what is not appropriate this is called socialization in simple words so first happens construction of gender this is one process it involves socialization then comes deconstruction transition phase because our choices our desires interfere and then comes reconstruction this is the third process and again reconstruction takes place through socialization socialization into new norms new norms because we are in new culture new environment new context and every context has its own norms expectations conventions the same processes are explained in sociology these three uh, concepts and processes this time will be discussed from the point of view of sociologists but we will use as i told you earlier in some module that we will use different terminology when we will talk about these things from different uh, disciplinary points of view so see i would also try, uh, uh, would like to recapitulate recollect things here uh, for the moment we started about a study of language gender first from the point of view of sociolinguistics then we discussed it from the point of view of sociocultural anthropology or social anthropology and now we are discussing it from point of view of sociology gender is commodity that is exchanged in social markets now see this is language of market language of economy but sociologists are using it for purpose and they would have some new ideas to share with us they say gender is a commodity it is something to offer something to be exchanged where it is exchanged in social markets what are social markets they are not business markets they are interactional spaces places each market is controlled by social order so as in business markets there are rules and regulations and norms similarly here too we have norms which are being called social order we will define this term now social order is a structure or system that keeps harmony through systematic norms because when we interact in some space in some new context so our public behavior our talk everything around us would be monitored by a new set of rules and these rules create order or harmony in the context where we are working where we are studying etc that's why we call it social order norms control behaviors of boys and girls in the social markets what are social markets your family your peers educational institutions workplaces these are all examples of social orders different stages of gender development are controlled by different social orders in every stage of development we enter in a new phase in a new context so definitely when we are in a new context we have a new set of norms a new social order during childhood 
if we start from childhood same sex market or interactions is controlled by social order of family there we follow norms of family and peers here the norms are about and what is the focus of those norms how to be a boy and how to be a girl in adolescence this is next stage of our life and gender development as well this period is from puberty to adulthood during this period heterosexual market now we are in a new phase of life where same sexes are not involved people from different sexes are involved one is male the other is female that's why we call it heterosexual interaction it is controlled by social order of status system so now at this stage of life we have to adopt some status some identity the norms are to fix our status according to cultural expectations what we would be as a male or as a female in this phase of life now you will understand this point if you uh, think about this task do you think that heterosexual relations are decided in every culture by choice of boys and girls and that too as 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 early as teenage do you think so what is your opinion about it almost all cultures whatever is your answer you will conclude it is likely that you will come to the conclusion that whether it is a, a matter of western culture or whether we are talking about non western cultures everywhere almost all cultures do not allow heterosexual relations without marriage if we talk about marriage if we talk about status or identity in this age of being a husband and wife so there is no space for being a boy and a friend a boyfriend or girlfriend like this so and this happens in every culture for example in pakistan by law early marriages are disallowed the clash that is also part of pakistan chitral has different marriage norms now keeping that context in view i would require you to watch the man who would be king actually this was a novel by kipling and it was filmed in 1975 with the same title in this movie the people they are two ex army people they left indian army and they settled in this area that is called kafristan uh, where these kalash people live they came here and one of them was taken as god and the other is taken as king by the people the thing that is notable for you would be the sentence that is repeated throughout the film that every culture has its own norms this sentence is repeated by the characters main characters so many times in this movie that's that's why i have recommended to watch it and uh, you will understand after watching this movie what do we mean by uh, cultural uh, reconstruction or uh, the idea of social market and how social markets are controlled monitored by social orders